Welcome to the sixth episode in which we are looking at the 2020 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. In the first five episodes, we've covered question 1 through 13. So today we are starting with question 14. And 14 leads. The diagram below shows three points O, A, and B, in which O, B is equal to A, B. Given that the bearing of A from O is 0, 30 degree, and angle A, B, O is equal to 40 degree, calculate the bearing A of B from A, then B, O from B. So for you to follow along properly, let me just try to zoom in. So the first question is asking us to find the bearing of B from A. So what it means is you go to A and draw a north. So we draw a north, this a north, which is parallel to this line. So what we want is, if we are at A, how many degrees should we turn to face B? That's what it means. So for us to know, we need to know, we need to know this angle. Because the straight line is 180. But we've been given a, a, this triangle, which is an equilateral triangle, which two sides are equal. So this side and this side are equal. Then we know what a uh, 40 degree is then once we know that we can easily find the other angle because what we know is if you extend from here to here this small angle here because these two lines are parallel this small angle the black one is equal to uh, this angle okay so this angle is 30 degrees so what we need to know is we need to know what is remaining here okay so we need to know this angle that i'm going to use the blue line so it's this angle that we need to know so you can only know this angle if you know the entire angle there. But we know that this is an equilateral triangle. So if this angle is 40 and these two sides are equal, we can find. So we shall call this angle x, which is should be the same as this angle, which is x. So what we have x plus x plus x is plus 40, which is known there, is equal to 180. So we have 2x is equal to... Uh, basically 180 minus this 40 when it crosses the equal sign so what we have is 2x is equal to 140 we divide by 2 both sides so we get x is equal to nothing but 70 so this angle is 70 and this angle is 70 so what it means is the 30 we know the 30 we know is basically we are saying a 30 plus what we don't know we shall call this angle known y must equal to 70 so y is equal to basically 70 minus 30, which is 40 degrees. So now, what we want is we are moving all this up to here. But from here to here is 40. And the entire straight line is 180. So to find what is missing there, what we do is basically we shall say 180 minus 40, which is equal to 140 degrees. So the bearing of A if we send that A, how many degrees should we turn to face B? We need to turn 140 degrees. So the bearing of A, of B from A, B from A is 140 degrees. That's how you answer this one. So let us go to B. So B leads O from B. O from B. So if you come there, just remove this part so that we have enough space. So, we are saying O from B. Okay? So, if you send that B, again we draw the north. This is the north, which is parallel to this line. Then we are saying, how many degrees should we turn at B, starting from the zero, the north, all the way to face the line which is going to O? That's what it means. So, now, we know that... We have already found this angle. Find this angle here to be what? This angle to be 40 degrees, which is y. So this angle is basically 40 degrees. That's what it means. So we have 40 plus 40. So this is basically, we are saying, uh, this is basically 80 in total here. Then, so we are turning. How many degrees are we turning? So we are turning uh, basically all the way up to uh, this degree but here we are not reaching the entire complete circle the entire complete circle 
So what we do is for us to find this bearing is basically what we do is 360 which is the complete circle minus this 40 degrees then minus another is 40 degrees so what we end up is basically 280 degrees as our answer so for b is 280 all right so this is how you get the four marks on question 14. let us move to question 15. so question 15 leads the values of x and y are given to one decimal place as x equals 4.2 and y 7.3 find the a the maximum value of x plus y b the minimum value of x minus y so let us find the minimum and the maximum value that x and y can take to two decimal places so we have x then we have y then we have minimum here then we have maximum okay maximum value so the minimum value that x can take to two decimal places is basically 4.15 such that it, if you round it to the one decimal place it becomes 4.2 then the maximum it can take is 4.2 uh, basically 24 such that when you round it off to the one decimal place it becomes 4.2 similarly uh, y would take 7.25 then we have 7.34 uh, then once you do that then it becomes easier so we are looking for the maximum value that x plus y can be x plus y can be so the maximum value that x plus y can be is when you take the two maximums so we're going to have 4.24 plus 7.34 which when we add we get basically 8 4 plus 4 8 then 2 plus 5 is 2 2 plus 3 is 5 then point 4 plus 7 is basically 11 11.58 11 then let us look at b so b is the minimum so the minimum value that x x minus y can take is when x is the lowest so what's the lowest possible value of x you see 4.2 one five then what is the maximum so you see the lowest value of x then the maximum value of y so that we have the lowest uh number which is the most negative so in this case is 7.34 then if we find the difference we find basically negative 3.19 as the value the minimum value so this is the minimum possible that the difference can be so basically this is how you answer question 15 to get the four marks so thank you for joining me join me in the episode 7 as i'll be looking at question 16 and 17 probably and 18.